If you've grown up in the metro area or spent a few winters, you know we see snow and sleet and freezing rain. We have it all. So why do we have those different precipitation types? All right, well, here's the deal. Let's talk about what we call a kind of a, a normal atmosphere. OK, so it's cold at the surface and as you go up, it gets colder. So everything starts as snow. It falls through the column because it's below freezing. It falls as snow. Now, what happens is when you get a different situation and you get a little warm air in this column, yes, it starts to snow, but then it melts. Then if we have cold air below that, then it refreezes and that's sleet that bounces off the windshield. This is the worst scenario, though. You have this huge warm uh, layer and it starts to snow and then melts as rain and then it hits the ground and freezes. And that's what we call freezing rain. And that's the worst. So it falls liquid, OK, but then it collects on power lines and trees and can actually you know, bring down some power lines. So it falls liquid, freezes on contact and can make travel extremely dangerous and can make just walking down the driveway or sidewalk also dangerous. Now, um, was that too complicated? All right, well, let's look at it a different way, and this might help some of you. I kind of this is kind of the way it was taught to me. So you have the column of air. It's cold from the surface all the way in the atmosphere. So snow starts at the top and continues as snow through the column because it's freezing or below. Now, the surface can be above freezing. We've seen it snow at 35, 34, even 40 degrees because the column supports it. Of course, when the snowflake hits the ground, it will melt. So that's essentially what we call a normal atmosphere. The higher you go up in the atmosphere, generally speaking, it gets colder. That's why the mountains get more snow than we do. They have a little, little colder air. But when you get another situation, where we have warm air kind of intruding on part of this column. Then it starts as snow still, but goes through this column and it melts. Now, if it's cold again, it will refreeze that sleet that bounces. If this warm, this warm intrusion it covers all this bottom part of the column, then it stays liquid and then it falls liquid and then freezes on contact. If the ground is below freezing, that is freezing rain. And that's really the worst scenario. I mean, sleet's not great, but freezing rain is the worst because freezing rain will, you know, kind of accumulate on power lines and trees and make things like an ice skating rink. So maybe that helps you a little bit when you see sleet or freezing rain falling, you can say to yourself, aha, not quite a normal atmosphere.